So guys, this is sort of a part two, I guess. Um, so after I've been to Bateman's and I've wandered around there for an hour or two, uh, snapping away, I then headed to Bodium Castle as well. And I was thinking, well, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. There's not going to be much wildlife around, really, because generally if you go down there, it needs to be early morning when they're sort of waking up or whatever. Um, and it's peace and quiet. There's no humans around at all. Um, that's when you get sort of the best shots. Anyway, there's loads of people there. Um, it's the bank holiday weekend loads of people walking around the castle but actually if you come away from the, off the beaten track a little bit um, obviously apart from the uh, the big fish in the moat um, and a few bees and stuff flying around um, sort of wildlife you can't really see any of it you can hear the birds chirping stuff like that you see the old robin and, and the ducks flying around and everything like that um, but you don't see much else really um, obviously you've got the little uh, on the moat there you've got the uh, Sort of, uh, I think they look like mosquitoes or something like that flying around. But um, other than that, you don't really see much unless, let's say, unless you were early morning. Anyway, so I walked around. There's like an old, um, I think it's an old mill pond or something originally, but it's now just a dried up. Um, it's just full of trees and, and and scrubland and bush and bushes and stuff like that, which is obviously ideal for wildlife. As you see here, there's a squirrel on the tree. And then I spotted. Um, one rabbit, it was quite a way away, and I thought, oh, there's a rabbit, take a picture. Anyway, I looked down, literally five to six feet away, no no further, with some baby rabbits. And um, I wasn't wearing bright colours, I was wearing like a brown sort of t-shirt, uh, green sort of combat trousers and brown shoes, so I kind of blended in a little bit. Um, and um, I was like, blimey, so I've got to keep quiet. I put the RX-10 Mark IV into silent mode, so it didn't make any noise at all. Um, and uh, did a little bit of video as you can see they're probably cute um, I'd say they're probably well, I don't know how big maybe 6 inches to 8 inches long that sort of size yeah um, proper not really bothered I mean one of them spotted me quickly and it ducked down in the um, into the uh, into the burrow again but this one came back out. It wasn't bothered at all. Just it saw me a couple of times, I think, and I think because I didn't move and I just kept as still as I could. Um, you know, it allowed me to. At least I know where it is now. I can actually go back and just sit there really early one morning. Um, hopefully they'll come out and start running around and things. So I'm probably going to do that this week if I can. Um, just went some decent weather because it seems to be raining. Um, this is the last day or so. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, RX10 Mark IV shooting on video um, and use the object tracking for stills but I left um, left it on obviously uh, on video mode but it seems to ignore things like the grass and stuff it just seems to go for the moving um, images it must have some kind of algorithm anyway so it picks up moving subjects and just stays with it because I wasn't in sort of um, object tracking as such um, but it seems to ignore you know I mean I'm basically aiming at the um, the stinging nettles and stuff there and it's just ignore them completely oh, go go. so it did, it did catch it very slightly there but then it's back on it again straight through and I'm not on spot focus I'm on wide so it's kind of amazing how it's how it's doing that it's eating the flowers um, and then it decided to have a little bit of a, a clean and, and, and have a little scratch and stuff like that so um, yeah just really cute shots really I've never really seen baby bunnies unless it's been like a you know a pet one um, or if I have, they've been a long way away and you can't get the shots from them. You feel quite, even though obviously they're classed as pe uh, pests, I suppose. But um, when they're in a place like that, they're not they're not bothering anyone. Um, you know, so they're kind of cute, really. Um, as you can see there, all the detail. So the light the light was still a bit dull, um, but shooting obviously at 600 mm f4, plenty of light coming in. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just nice. I was only shooting it. I was, this is how dull it was. I was. It was sort of uh, ISO 100, which I try and keep to if I can. Um, my shutter speeds were anywhere between one hundredth of a second and one sort of one sixtieth of a second ish, that sort of distance. So at 600 mil, you're kind of pushing up. But lucky it's not really moving around. Uh, it wasn't a moving target as such. So uh, there, I got spotted completely. Just literally stared at me, and I was like, uh oh. Um, <laughs> But really pleased on how how the camera performed, um, shooting through like loads of sting nettles and things like that, and it still acquired focus quite happily, um, which was really nice. And that's the rabbit, the original rabbit I saw that was about 20 meters away, down in the sort of bottom dip of it, 
and uh, yeah, and then I realised, literally to the right hand side of me, down by my feet, sort of five six feet away, was these baby bunnies. So here's a few more here's a few more shots anyway. Um, so that's that squirrel you saw on the video earlier. Just had a quick snap of him. He's about forty meters away, something like that. So it still blurs the background out nicely. And then there was a wag, I think they are called a wagtail, um, which are quite difficult to photograph because they seem to be very sketchy. You can't get very close to them and they're small. Um, but this one seemed to be relatively tame. I guess it gets fed a lot by uh, you know, customers walking around the castle. Um, I got within maybe 8 to 10 feet of him at the, at the best. Um, and then uh, I started, obviously while I was around the castle, just snapped a few shots. This one just shoved it through the reeds. Um, and uh, what I did previously was I actually pre-focused. So I lifted the camera up out of the reeds, um, focused, went manual focus, and dropped it straight back down. So that way it wasn't trying to hunt against the grasses or whatever. Uh, one of their famous ducks, um, it was just wandering around. It seemed to be following me around. I think I just wanted food, um, but obviously I didn't have any. And then back to the wagtail, um, he suddenly just started leaping up in the air. And I actually realised what he was doing is actually eating, uh, sorry, grabbing the little flies that are flying around because obviously they're all over the place at the moment and uh, literally just like jump <laughs> got one um, but obviously the, the speed of the autofocus on the RX10 Mark IV is ridiculous so quite happily capturing um, capturing the shots here because I was literally tracking him I had no idea where he was going to go or whatever um, and I've missed I did miss a few um, but and my shutter speed was a little bit too slow it could probably have been at least I think I was about 6 40 of a second could easily have done with being a thousandth of a second plus but we didn't have the light and at the time I didn't have a chance to up the ISO because I only really shoot manual um, to sort of see counteract but um, still got the shots it's still sharp so um, there's one of the big fishies coming up to someone threw a bit of grass in there and obviously thought it was food um, but can came along and actually realized when it's not they didn't bother and uh, swam away uh, a couple more shots of the castle there but as you can see, the clouds were getting a bit more moody, so it kind of added a bit more, um, almost emotion to the shot, which is quite cool. Plenty of people everywhere, um, just enjoying their time there, which is really nice. Uh, one of the old famous angled shots there of the castle. Um, what was really nice was the oak leaves coming off the oak tree. It was so fresh and nice. It's so green and just like soft as well. It was weird. Um, as you can see there, really nice um, sort of pale green. Um, but really fresh and sort of um, undamaged. Because normally when you see an oak leaf, it's normally got a bit of colour damage to it or anything like that. So it was nice to see them. Anyway, guys, please subscribe. Please click the notification bell. And I um, hope that was a okay video. Um, if you want any question, ask any questions about the RX10 Mark IV and obviously A7R3 um, and some of the GM lenses I've got now, Samyang lenses, um, stuff like that, uh, feel free to ask below or you know um, on the other videos I've posted and uh, please keep watching and please um, spread the word the more views I get the more videos I can make um, and uh, go from there so more videos coming this week as I've got a bit of spare time I've been out and about doing th some things so uh, keep an eye out for new videos coming um, every day or so okay so cheers